All right, so we have reached the end of the course. And again, what we explored, let's just uh, kind of, you know, very quickly go through all of that. So we saw as to how to write a device driver, right? And we focused on using proc as, um, uh, you know, the file system that we interact with, right? Then as part of writing this, we understood the compilation process, how, you know, the module gets compiled. Then we saw how to load the module, unload the module, right? And then we looked at other utilities that help with, you know, debug and analysis. We looked at all of that. Then we looked at, uh, you know, uh, how to go about uh, actually implementing, well, actually, let's put it this way. We looked at the basic components of the driver, right, the init, the exit, and then after all of this, we looked at, uh, you know, system uh, calls and specifically those that relate to file operations and the file in our case or the file system in our case was again proc uh, i just have to reiterate this is not a real file system there is no block of memory associated with this on the disk uh, it's virtual and then we looked at how to create proc entry right and how to interact with it and as part of that interaction we looked at uh, the read system call right and then towards the end we explored uh, interaction of uh, you know user and kernels space so this is kind of what we looked at and trust me this is what every kernel driver has uh, boils down to this pretty much and uh, let's talk about what we have not taken a look look at and you know what you can uh, kind of try and explore on your own or you know follow along in the next um, uh, course that we plan on releasing on the linux device drivers uh, so what we have not seen is you know the character device driver and how to actually create like a node within slash dev we haven't seen at how to go about implementing other system calls right open close read write those kind of things and most importantly we haven't looked into so if this was our linux kernel we haven't looked into how to actually go about uh, you know controlling or interacting with and hardware let's say uh, led for example or a switch how how can we have the linux kernel module interact and handle actual hardware that we haven't seen yet then we haven't uh, seen you know um, kind of um, uh, modules that are uh, preloaded in the kernel image what does this mean so this means that as your system like the linux kernel boots up your driver should be already part of it that exploration we haven't done uh, we haven't also not looked at something called um, device tree right and the link of device tree uh, to the module we haven't looked at that and there are of course many more things but knowing this in addition to what you already know can actually get you to a comfortable start on a device driver's team where you wouldn't be asking basic questions to the you know senior team members rather you will be ready to fire and ready to contribute um, to the point that you can actually you know deal with hardware with what you have studied in this free course you'll of course be able to kind of absorb more information from you know any of the seniors on your team 
um, but with the next version or the the follow up course uh, on the linux device drivers you will be able to go down and control the hardware right and so with this then i hope that you uh, enjoyed this free course and if you like this co uh, course do leave us a feedback do rate the course and uh, you know i request you to kind of you know spread it around in your peer group also and with this uh, i'll see you in the next one bye bye